Hello and welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript Conditional Statements, Else If Statements. We can add more conditions to our If Else with an Else If Statement. The Else If Statement allows for more than two possible outcomes. You can add as many Else If Statements as you'd like to make more complex conditionals. The Else If Statement always comes after the If Statement and before the Else Statement. The else if statement also takes a condition. Let's take a look at the syntax. We have let stop light be assigned yellow. If stop light equals red, log out stop. Else if stop light equals yellow, log slow down. Else if stop light equals green, log go. Else log caution unknown. The else if statement allows you to have multiple possible outcomes. If else if else statements are read from top to bottom. So the first condition that evaluates to true from the top to bottom is the block that gets executed. In this example, it would log out slow down. In the example above, since the stop light equals red evaluates to false and stop light equals yellow evaluates to true, the code inside of the first else if statement is executed. The rest of the conditions are not evaluated. If none of the conditions evaluated to true, then the code in the else statement would have executed. Instructions. Let's create a program that keeps track of the way the environment changes with the seasons. Write a conditional statement to make this happen. In main.js, there's already an if else statement in place. Let's add an else if statement that checks if season is equal to winter. Inside the code block of the else if statement, add a console log that prints the string, it's winter, everything's covered in snow. Zoom out. And we're doing an else if, so we could basically in here do else if condition execute this code. The condition checks if season is equal to winter. If so, log it's winter, everything's covered in snow. Log it's winter, everything's covered in snow. Else invalid season will be logged. Let's run this does print invalid season. Two, add another else if statement that checks if season's equal to fall. So we could copy that and paste. So we have two else if. This one will now change to fall. And we'll take this string, copy it, change this fall log to say it's fall, leaves are falling, else invalid season will be logged. Same thing, let's run it. We still get invalid season since season is summer last we're going to add summer and give it this string here and let's do that by again copying the else if copy it paste it change this to summer and then do this here paste and again that should finally run it since it is summer it will stop here and log out it actually should be here and it should paste it there so now summer will be true here in this else if and it will log it's sunny and warm because it's summer let's run that and it does run the log that we said it would so all that we're adding on here is the else if statement and this can be added to our if else statements to give us more conditions that we can check through. And if all those conditions are false, the else will run. And these are checked from top to bottom. And the first true, that code block will run. As long as you're understanding that, you're getting this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.